Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless God, it's time to pray again. And the prophetic word is coming from the book of Job in the 22nd chapter. The Bible declares, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. And as I begin to meditate that, uh, meditate about that and think on God's word and think about what God was saying, he took me back to the story of David and Goliath. And it tells of how David, you know, when he came before Goliath, he said, you know what, Goliath, you're coming with all of these swords and spears, but guess what, Goliath, I'm coming in the name of the Lord. And he went on and declared that, you know, on that day that Goliath was going to be delivered into his hand. You know, David began to speak that day. He began to decree that thing. And when you look in the book of Job, and you look up that scripture, Job, the 22nd chapter at the 28th verse where it says it shall be established. That word established in the text, it means it causes something to rise up. It means that it is confirmed. And as David began to speak that thing, you know, God began to rise up. Hallelujah. And when David shot those stones, you know, it landed on Goliath's head. You know that that was supernatural. And so as we began to speak the supernatural, I want you to know that God is fighting for you. God will be Begin to rise up at his word. When you begin to speak his word over your situation, things are going to change. So come on and go with me as we look into the word of God real quickly and as we go into prayer on this great Memorial Day. And by the way, happy Memorial Day unto you. The Bible says in 1 Samuel the 17th chapter, beginning at verse 45, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword with a spear and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day, I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know there is a God in Israel. You know what? David spoke in faith and David knew what he was saying. He said, the Lord of hosts of the armies of Israel. The host meaning the army in heaven, those angelic forces. And David knew as he began to speak the word, as he began to speak faith, David knew that he had a covenant with God. David knew that he was one day going to be king. Huh? So David knew that this thing right here, this bully right here in front of him uh, was not going to be able to stand uh, because when destiny has been proclaimed, uh, when God has anointed you, uh, when God has called you, uh, I don't care how big the giant look, I don't care how the circumstances may seem, you will reach your destination if you continue to speak what God has said. If you will not allow the obstacles in your life to stop you. Hallelujah. You will. If God has called you to preach, guess what? You will preach. If God has called you to teach, guess what? You will teach. If God has called you to evangelize, you will evangelize. If God has called you to prophesy, you will be that prophet. If God has called you, hallelujah, to minister to his people, you will reach what God has planned for you. You know why? Because God is fighting for you. If God has spoken over your life, hallelujah, it is God that shall bring it to pass if you would only keep your eyes on him. And so I say to you today, those of you who might be in a struggle, God's fighting for you. That's the prophetic word for you today. God is fighting for you. And as you begin to decree those things, as that word in Job 22, 28 
states. That word established states that it causes something to rise up. It causes it is to stand up. It causes it to be confirmed. So as you speak the word of God over your situation, God is going to confirm it and he's going to fight your battles. Hallelujah. Give it over to God and allow him just as Jehoshaphat. I'm reminded of that in my closing. Jehoshaphat, when the armies came up against him, the Lord says to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Your job is to believe and have faith that God has called you. Believe and have faith that God's going to do it. And God's job is to perform it. Hallelujah. Based upon your faith. Glory be to God. In him. In his name. In his ability. What he can do for you. So know today that God loves you dearly. Know that I love you. Know that he's fighting for you. And as you are in that battle, stay strong <laughs> and keep your eyes eyes on oh, Jesus. God bless you. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I bless you. I honor you. Lord, I give you the glory, the honor, and all of the praise, Father. For truly, God, uh, thine alone are worthy to be praised, Father. Thine alone are worthy to be exalted above all others. Uh, so, Father, I bless you, God. Bless you for all that you have done. Uh, bless you for your goodness, God. Uh, bless you for your mercy, God. Uh, bless you for your loving kindness, God. Uh, bless you because, God, you never never left us nor forsook us. Bless you because God you have chosen us as your own. And Father because you have chosen us Lord God. We know today that you fight our battles Father God. We know today that there's power in the name of Jesus. Huh? We know today that when we profess your name and your word. When we invoke you into the situation Father God that you step right on in, God. And you come in, Father, and you do what only you can do, Father. And so, Father, I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus for your people, God. I ask in the name of Jesus, God, uh, that they have, would have the strength to trust you, Father. I ask in the name of Jesus, God, they would have the faith to believe you, God, and that they would have, God, stirred up in them, God, the word of God that they might speak in their situation, Father. So bless your people today, Father. Bless them, God. Hallelujah to walk strong in you today, Father, I pray. And may they see the giants in their lives fall, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your glory be revealed in their life, God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they might say there is a God. And that they might say, hallelujah, that there is a God that loves them, Father. So I praise you and I thank you and I bless you and I honor you, God. I pray for the man of God, asking that you would strengthen him, Lord, and give him what he needs today, God. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.